Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Fairy Tale Chapter 305 review. Now, this week's chapter of Fairy Tale. Uh, this week's chapter of Fairy Tale, I liked it. Yeah, I liked it because Mavis, Mavis the character. I mean, granted, she's still cheating. No matter, no matter what, the, no matter what you say, she's still cheating. But the fact of the matter here is that she's using statistics probability percentages basically math in order to find out the percentage or the chance of a character being in one location or another and thus she is placing like a general commanding the army she's placing her troops in locations where they may where, where they will have the greatest advantage and where and where they can avoid the greatest threats and that to me was you know like it was cool like it it was good i enjoyed that part i i actually did because normally in fairy tale it's oh shit here comes my friends in danger mm, powered up mm, are you fired up like yeah like that's the way it is but in this case mavis is actually taking the more tactical approach but not in the sense of just pure tactics but actual mathematical tactics and that to me is you know like that's good that's very good shit I like that. I really do. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I do. But um, she's still cheating, though. <laughs> she is, cause I mean, like you could say that she's not talking to them, with like tell like like uh, telepathically. But then again, the problem here, I mean, may, you could be right. You could be right, cause there's suggestions that she still is, but yet at the same time, there are hints that she's not. But at the same time, you have to realize that she had a specific plan for this specific type of battleground. Meaning team on team on team. And the problem here is that it wasn't revealed that it was going to be a team on team on team situation until they actually went there today. So how the fuck did Mavis know about this shit? Well, she fucking cheated. She somehow knew, even though it was not revealed to be a team on team on team competition. I mean, you have to consider the fact that she... She had probabilities for every situation, which is impossible because you cannot have you cannot have probability for everything. It's it's mathematically impossible. So either she just cheated and knew uh, beforehand, and then she told him later on, or right now she is telepathically communicating. With, she's telepathically communicating with with each of the members of Fairy Tale. That's what it has to be. But regardless, she's cheating. That doesn't matter. Um, now. That being said, that being said, props to Lamy and Scale. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, Lamy, like, they're going in. They're taking out mad people. I mean, yeah, granted, Fairy Tale, they are too. But Lamy and Scale, they are, yeah. They are going ham. They are going ham. And I like it. I like ham a lot. And I love it when Lamy and Scale is cooking that shit. And Lamy, yo, Jura, this motherfucking Ichi, I mean, because he was the last dude. And blue Pegasus left. Uh, what happened? Gray took out that one guy. I forgot his name. The the uh, archive dude. And then the snow guy and the wind guy were taken out by fucking uh, Gajio. Like one breath attack and it was over. Uh, Erza took out some girl from Mermaid Heel. Lax is being lax. It's just, just like doing shit. But we have Ichia. And he's like, oh, leave it to me. Oh, no. Jura. Karate chop. I mean, it was like. Bam! Like, what are you doing? Ugh, like, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That was good. Um, and right now, I believe we have Lamia Scale, Saber Tooth, Saber Hoos, and uh, Fairy Tail, and they are all tied for forty nine points as of right now. And this is gonna be good. Why? Because, and Mermaid Hill's still there. They have two more people left. They have that one girl that Arizona knows, like the cat chick. I forgot her name completely. And then there is Kagura. Now, I'll look, listen, listen, all right, listen. I said it before, I'll say it again. No one except for maybe Jura or Loxus is beating Kagura. Erza is not beating Kagura. And you may say, oh, well, you're overhyping her. Take a look at this, all right? Minerva, very strong woman in fairy tale. She will fuck with Erza. She, she will. She has no problems. She has no qualms with fucking with Erza Scarlet. But she won't go near Kagura. She won't go near her. She told her team, don't go near Kagura, don't go near Jura. That's a sign. That's a sign. 
That means she doesn't want to fuck with Kagura or Jura. Because these guys, these two, are the most powerful of the entire magical guilds right now in this competition. Period. End of story. End of story. End of story. Like, like seriously. Like, I don't know why people debate this shit. Like, oh my god. Maybe if Erza, you know, friendship, power... No, no. She will just undraw her sword and she will slice Erza in fucking thirds. No, no. No, it's not working. It's not working. No. 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 I mean, you could argue that, you know, oh, well, you know, she... She, uh... You know, fuck it, fuck it. No, no. She, Erza's not beating her. It, it, I'm sorry. She's not beating her. No. Um... No. 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 <laughs> no. Um, now, what else is there? Yeah, um, the thing here is that Mavis, again, the whole entire mathematics, statistics... In fact, what was her name? Uh... Because, uh, apparently her, her name back in the day was Fairy... Yeah, Fairy Strategist Mavis. So, whatever. I mean... It, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, right? Basically, she can think, so she can strategize on a mathematical level, and that's good. That's very good. Now, let me get on to my man Rufus, because Rufus, I mean, first of all, I love his move. I mean, in this manga, in this translation, it was called uh, Star Knight Fall, but there was a there was a previous transit there was a previous translation that I that I liked even more. And that one was called Into a Night of Falling Stars. And that shit is sexy. I mean, I mean, like, it's like poetry, man. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like Shakespeare, dude. I love that shit, man. Into a Night, fuck off. Into a Night of Falling Stars. I like it. That, yeah, that shit's hot. That shit's hot. Um, but basically what happens is that Mavis actually, she actually, again, mathematically using percentages and statistics, she planned for Rufus making a move when Gray was in a certain location. And, you know, again, very good shit. Very good shit. Um, but what happened was, at some point, at the end of the fight, I mean, at the at the end of the chapter, Rufus is reading a book and shit, just chilling, just chilling. And then here comes Gray. And then Rufus is like, huh, uh, I don't remember you. Uh, can you make me remember? I'm like, ah, I, 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 okay, okay, all right. So that was good. That was good. And then Gray is like, no, 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 man. I'm going to take you out, period. So I want, because this is going to be a good fight. It really is, in my personal opinion. Or it should be a good fight. Because Gray, out of the main four characters, I think I like him the second best. Like, out of, like, because there's Arizona, obviously. But then there's Gray. I mean, I don't like Natsu or Lucy whatsoever. But Gray, I actually like, because Gray, I see a lot of potential in the character. Um, I like his, I like his connection with Ultir, with uh, Leon, you know, his former master, uh, uh, um, what's his name, uh, Ul, Ul, whatever his name is, right, fuck it, I don't know, alright, I'm, I'm, I'm like fucking Chewy here, I don't fucking know, alright, whatever his name is, the fact of the matter here is that I like Grey as a character, I do, um, and seeing him not get enough push time, because he's always underneath the shadow of, you know, not to Dragon Neo, Mr. Fired Up, and Lucy misses, uh, tears. It's like, no, it's, it's, it's sickening. But, you know, seeing Gray actually go in there, fighting someone, I like that. That, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And I like that. Um, now, how will this fight proceed? I'm not too sure exactly. Because Rufus has a lot of shit. He has a lot of shit. I mean, he made fire at some point using memory make. So, I'm not too sure what's going to go on here. But, hey, it's, it's going to be good. It's, it should be good, at least. Um, and then, there is the thing which I want to say about... Well, not, not really. I mean, basically, it's very simple. Natsu went in there, found Lucy in a cage. He melted and bended the bars. Freed Lucy temporarily. The floor opened up. They are trapped in some underground dungeon-type area where they cannot escape. And the princess trapped them in there. But she had a sad face on, meaning that she may or may not free them at some point in time. And that's it. I mean, when it comes to when it comes to that whole entire thing with the princess and Natsu and Lucy, um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I will say one last thing. We all kind of felt like we didn't know for sure, but we kind of felt that the fights were gonna be predominantly between Sabretooth and Fairy Tail. But if they were to somehow meet by chance, like just by chance, in the middle of the uh, tournament, it would have been very, very weird. 
Like, it, it would have been too convenient, way too convenient. But the way Hero set it up was that Mavis is now conducting them to be in those locations. So, it's been a while since I've said this, but Hero, good move. That was a good move. Because now, when we see Erza face off against Minerva, when we see Orga face off against Laxis, uh, when we see Rogue against, uh, you know, Gagio, it's gonna be because, it's gonna be because Mavis set it up that way, not by chance. So, I like that. That was a good move. That was a good move. That was, that was a good move. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, as of right now, once again, the players in this competition are as followed. All of Sabretooth, all of Fairy Tail, all of Lamias. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Jura... Leon and uh, Shelia from Lamia Scale. And when it comes to Mermaid Heel, all they got right now is the Cat Girl and Kagura. Just, just, just Kagura. That, 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 that's all you need, really. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm done. So uh, this is King Lightning. This chapter rating overall, I'm going to give it a good, good, good chapter fairy tale. So I'm signing out. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Signing out.